what is class how class can be defined in C++ or explain the structure of a C++ class or what are the different access specifiers in C++ explain its uses. A class is a user defined data type that binds data and functions that operate on data together in a single unit so that its data and functions can be accessed and used by an instance or object of that class. It allows data to be hidden from external use. Class needs to be defined before using its instance or objects in program. General form of a class definition in C++ it starts with the keyword class followed by class name and, and start and ends with curly braces. Outside the curly braces at the end, we have to include a semicolon. Now inside the class, we can have three different access specifiers as private, public and protected. And in each of the block, we can have set of variable declarations and function declarations. And these sections can be repeated multiple times. So we have private, public and protected as three access specifiers and in each of the block we can have a set of variables and function declarations. Class, private, public and protected are keywords in C++. Class name is a valid C++ identifier that indicate name of the class. Variable declarations are data members that define properties of class. Function declarations are member functions that define behavior of class. Variables and functions declared within the class are collectively known as members of class. Access specifier Keywords private, public, and protected are known as access specifier or visibility mode. Each member of a class is associated with an access specifier that control its visibility. Member declared as private can be accessed only inside class. Member declared as public is accessible inside the class and outside using instance of a class. Protected members is accessible inside the class in which it is declared as well as its derived classes. Once an access specifier is used, it remains in effect until another access specifier is encountered or end of class definition. An access specifier is provided by writing appropriate keyword that is private, public or protected followed by a colon symbol. Default access specifier of C++ class is private. That is, if no access specifier is mentioned in class definition, access specifier will be private. Declaring data members as private hides them from rest of the program. This safeguards data members and prevent any accidental changes to them, thereby implementing the concept of data hiding in object-oriented programming. Specifying member functions as public provide an interface that will be accessible to other part of the program using an instance of class. It is useful to declare member functions as private if it is accessed only within member functions and not outside the class. Example, C++ program to create a class named student with two private data members, role number and name, and two public member functions for assigning and displaying values of data members. 
In this example, we have to create a class named student. The student should have two private data members as role number and name and two public member functions, one to assign the value for role number and name, another to display the value of role number and name. So here we have created a class which is named as student. It starts and ends with the curly braces. At the end, we have to mention the semicolon. In the private section, we have declared two data members. One is role number, another one is name. Role number is of int type, name is a character array. We have not mentioned the access specifier, so by default, the access specifier is private. So role number and name is of private data members. Now we have to include member functions. The member functions need to be mentioned in public access specifier. So we change the access specifier into public followed by colon symbol. First method is used to assign the value to role number and name to accept the value of role number and name. So method is named as set data. Its return data type is void and it does not take any parameters. In the set data method, we accept the value of role number and name by using scene object. So we write scene role number and scene name. The next method we define as display, display method. Its return data type is void and it does not take any parameters. Display method is used to display the value of roll number and name. So by using cout, we display the value of roll number and name inside display method. Now in the main method, we first create an object for the student class. An object can be created by mentioning a variable to the class name. So first we have to write class name followed by a variable name, that variable name act as the object. So here the class name is student and the object name is obj. By using this object, we can call all the public methods belonging to the class. So in the class, we have two public methods, two public member functions. One is named as set data, another one is named as display. So first we call set data by using dot operator obj dot set data. So which is used to assign the value for role number and name. Now in order to display the role number and name of one student object, we can call display method by using the object obj and dot operator. So we write obj dot display. 